So guys, in the before video, we did the maxilla and today's video, we're going to start with the mandible. So let's get started. So I will be starting with the brown color paint, which is an acrylic paint. So this brown color is used for the buckle vestibule. Ensure a clean hands and let's get started. So I'm going to speed up the video from here. I hope it's fine for you. I hope the camera adjustments are a bit okay. Like the before video, this video is also a bit time consuming. So yeah. Now we have finished the buccal vestibule region. So follow the double water method as mentioned in the before video. And let's get started with the next paint, green. You know, with a bit touch of luckiness, this mandible was completed early than that of maxilla. And I felt a bit happy about that. So, so we have completed the labial vestibule. Next, we will follow up with the olive green color for the retromolar pad area. Here, I'm using a dark violet color. This is actually a poster paint. This light blue poster paint is used for the labial frenum to give it a light color touch. You need to be very, very, very careful with this area. This area have high chances of smudging. I hope it's all right for you. So kindly take some time in spending with this. To be mentioned again, these are not the mandatory colors to be used on the cast. These are my desired colors. You can use your desired colors as well. And do mention down in the comments below how much time it took for you to complete this mandible. The crest is completed. Let's move on to the next paint that is the yellow color. Kindly bear with the camera adjustments made. This black color is used for. As you know, there are three parts in the alveolingual sulcus. The medial part is for this, while the red color is used for the buccal shelf area. Kindly make sure you give an outline and then start coloring inside it. Do the same for the next side. Don't worry about the white spot scene. You can retouch it in the second time. The lingual frenum is given sandalwood color. Anterior alveolingual sulcus is given peach color. I was in a confusion of choosing colors, so I thought magenta would be a good choice for the posterior alveolingual sulcus. I hope one coating of that is enough. Let's move on to the orange color for the residual alveolar ridge. This is the biggest area as you know, so I gave my favorite color. Make sure that you complete on both the sides. These are said to be the slopes of the residual alveolar ridge. 
as this is the last part, I really want you to be very careful with this. So I have completed the last part of this mandible. Now it's the time for me to touch up. Just comment down below what part you was unsatisfied with so that I could rectify. And boom, here's my mandible. If you enjoyed the video, kindly make sure you give a subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications. These are the paints used here.